Namaste, love and light, star seeds. I hope all is well with you guys. I send y'all my love, light, abundance, and prosperity all day, every day. If y'all like to donate to me on my channel, follow me on Instagram. Please check my description box down below. Everything you need to know will be everything you need to know will be there for you guys. Keep in mind these readings may or may not resonate with you guys, so do take a resonate and leave all the rest. So, y'all, listen. I just want to say something like this: spiritual competition definitely has to like come to an end. It has to stop because, as a collective, it's not getting us anywhere. You know, everyone. But it's not everyone. The karmic's trying to stop the chosen collective. Like, that has to stop. We just have to be real. The competition is coming from the karmics that's not chosen for whatever we have. Okay? I'm seeing three spirit guys here. It's like, I'm getting your stars are aligned. You are aligned with the stars and everything is all connecting with you. And I feel like other people around you wish that they was as blessed as you. Or they're going to wish this. Okay, and I feel like that's what your problem, the problem with your karmics was, is, was with the fact, the problem with your karmics was that you guys um, are going to be like, are, you're very blessed and you're going to be very successful, but the stars are aligned for you. All right, I'm getting like you're a lion, okay? That could be your spirit animal around you or that you could be a Leo. Somebody could also been saying like you're lying. All right, but you're not somebody is trying so trying to say that there's no spiritual competition all this energy is coming from you but i feel like this energy is coming from this person who started all this somebody does not want to take accountability for the fact that they started a spiritual competition it's like this spiritual competition has to come to an end it has to stop because you know we're not going to evolve spiritually we're just going to keep coming for each other keep coming after each other we can't be jealous of other people messages all right uh, one person talking about starlight the other one's talking about you know witchcraft the other one's talking about spirit guys the other one's talking about galactic beings we can't be in competition you know mad because this that and third it's just not getting us anywhere it's not getting us anywhere as a collective you know trying to block people from moving forward in their destiny you know and you see that this is their destiny because it's working for them you just want to make up stuff and assume that it's not that's not getting us anywhere as a collective and it's not getting you anywhere a lot of these karmics could be realizing that like this shit is not getting them anywhere all right well they need to stop if they're realizing this they need to stop all right all this karmic competition i'm getting as well like the karmics in competition with each other all right you got some karmics they want to be more karmic than somebody else it's crazy like this this stuff just needs to stop okay okay this is my song all right i feel like you guys are the magician in the mirror okay you guys are a magician energy right now i feel like you guys manifested into your higher self which is a high priestess okay and i feel like you guys definitely had someone trying to cut you out of your higher self and they felt like they was chosen to do this see this is what i'm saying this got to stop this ideology of oh i am chosen and i'm destined and i have the power to cut someone from their higher self no one has the power to do that if that was the case then we'll all be out here just causing chaos with each other cutting each other's higher selves like no and even when you send that attack out karmic all it does is just send a psychic attack to the divine being letting them know warning them warning them that you're trying to cut them from their higher self so they gotta cleanse themselves it's like a karmic don't want to admit that they're the queen of swords they want to say i'm the high priestess too and then the same breath they try to say you're trying to steal from me and you see that's not unity and they can't say like oh they all about unity but yet they're trying to say you're stealing from them and they could be trying to say things like, oh, because I said it first, like, it doesn't matter. Like, the universe is infinite. The universe is, is universal it's for everyone. All right? Now, anyone that can't tap in, they block that connection all on their own. But no one is just solely just connected with the universe. And everyone else got to go and, 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 you know, bow down to that one person that's connected with the universe. Like, it doesn't work that way. People got to get out of their ego because being an ego secretly... Secretly being in that dark side, it's not working. You need to just be real and, and, and come out as who you truly are. Or you're going to get exposed for it. And, and if your shadow side is a type of shadow where people can't be around, like it's jealous, very critical, aggressive, you got to heal that. You can't expect to be around people that's balancing their shadow and then you unbalancing your shadow. And you're out here attacking people, you know, who is balanced you can't do that all right you guys are definitely a high priestess here you guys know this it's someone 
around you that's not for sure if they're high priestess because they're carrying around a lot of heavy energy this is the energy that's been going on in the collective recently and it's like it's making people just want to like stop doing the things that they're doing like let's just say you guys are card readers like me all this heavy energy that the karmic is sitting out there it's just making everyone else just you know well you and every other reader just want to just stop reading because of the heavy energy that these karmics are sending out all right and even the karmic that's sitting out the nonsense is like oh my gosh i just want to just stop what i'm doing Be well they should but anyway like i was saying all this heavy negative energy is coming from this karmic here and it's it's not working the energy they're sending to you is not working but they just there watching. You know what I mean? The, this could be this earth sign. <sighs> yeah, listen. You're impressed. You're very beautiful here. All right. I'm feeling and sensing some confusion. These people are watching you confused, Starseeds. They're trying to put their confusion on you. And trying to say things like, but I thought it was this. I thought it was that. Like, these people, mind is spiraling out because they're not getting their way. And these are the exact same people that started all this nonsense. All right, you guys have good energy. It's this other person that chose to be on the left side and do everything opposite and negative. Yeah, this person was coming for your twin flame relationship, talking shit about it, trying to destroy it, ruin it. In and out of your relationship. Well, in and out of y'all, the energy of your relationship, I should say. Okay, and doing car reads and all type of stuff like that. I feel like somebody's mind is stuck. Somebody's mind is blank. Like, they know they're karmic. Like, they know they done karmic shit. And that's why nothing is coming in for them. You guys got good energy, B. Ace of Pentacles, y'all got good energy. I feel like someone should have been walked away from you. Somebody did all of this over a divine masculine. They thought they were going to get their divine masculine if they did all this shit to you. Like, they was really hoping, like, last year or this year, they were going to get their masculine. Like, yeah, they was thinking they was going to receive this promise, the new start. I'm getting promised land. They thought this divine masculine was waiting for them on the other side on at this promised land. All right, I feel like someone needs to walk away from that divine masculine dream because I feel like they got to do the work. All right, somebody may pass away. All right, there's something about your new beginning that these karmics want because they don't have. Why is this Ace of Wands? They really want it. And it's like, this is something that you manifested. It's not theirs. And I feel like they played around with a lot of magic to try to take this. Yeah, it's your lover, man. Your divine masculine. The life that you and your divine masculine have. They're completely jealous of that. I'm so sick of this jealousy. It's your twin flame. It's your passionate new beginning with your twin flame. That's what they want. It's your new life, even with your kids. Yeah, that's the future. That's the future energy that you and your person is coming into, integrating in with. It's your new beginning. Death card. That's why the situations come to it. And I feel like these mofos try to add themselves to your soul contract so they can receive like you. They try many ways. That's obviously not a way to get it. But they did try to add themselves to your soul plan so they can receive like you and that failed. All right, and I feel like these people are going to be dying, dropping like flies, just falling off, falling off the face of the earth, the planet. I feel like death is on someone's way. These people definitely did try to sacrifice you, okay, for this, and that got forwarded back to them. They tried to soul sacrifice you for their twin flame. They, tried, they probably thought you had their twin flame. Yeah, judgment was called on this person. I feel like also somebody's calling out this person for only wanting money. All they care about is money, all right? status high status riches and all of that all right yeah and that's that's the truth i feel like the truth is that this person is after your money your ten of pentacles the ten of pentacles that you are you know claiming that's yours it's, it's like they're trying to say you're trying to claim your ten of pentacles you're trying to claim the ten of pentacles as yours it's not yours it's theirs but it is yours it's your energy you caught this in this is your good judgment your good energy your good juju this person being rejected of your destiny They've been rejected. It's almost like they're trying to say it's crazy for you to pick up this stuff about them trying to steal your destiny and, and, and change destinies and 
manipulate your destiny. They're trying to say that's weird that you can pick that up. But it's, it's isn't it more weird that they're doing it? Because And they know they're doing They're trying to turn the blind eye, Starseeds. They're trying to turn the blind eye. They don't want you to receive this ten of coins. They don't want you to be rich. It's almost like they know. I'm getting these people in the background. Your background energy know that you're meant to be rich. They know what's destined for you. They know your destiny. It's sad, but true. These people, I feel like they wasn't supposed to know, but they had the power and the tools to ask. And they got the answer. And they was tested and they was failed. And they failed. They know the truth about your destiny. This is this is sad, but it's true. Okay. A lot of these people that that is um watching you, Star Seeds, these karmics, they don't have twin flames. Alright? They have not evolved to have a twin. You gotta have a high status lifestyle. They actually try to like, you know, um, cop, like, you know, uh, coffee. They try to steal that from you, that that energy that makes you high status. That's gonna give you that high status lifestyle. And they got karma for that. It's like these people. It, it's like it doesn't matter what they think or try to say. But I feel like for the longest they try to get into your head and convince you like, you're not meant to be rich. You're not gonna be anything. You're not gonna be anybody. I'm gonna make sure you walk back backwards in, in life so you won't achieve that. These people really try to stop you from reading tarot. Stop you from knowing and learning the astrology. Like, these people use black magic to target your destiny. Because your destiny, you know, includes you tapping into divination. All right, tapping into all forms of spirituality. Yes, all forms. You have every right to, like, know about it. At least know the truth. Try it. Okay, these people are trying to say, no, that's wrong. You're going to take the information and do something bad with it. You need a trainer. You need a mentor. And, and if these people are trying to be your mentor, they're attacking you. That's just, I, I, wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want them to be my mentor. Because they're attacking you just to get your damn attention. I can just imagine what the fuck you do to me when you really mad at me. They really are mad at you. All right, and I'm getting that strongly. They're trying to <clears throat> hex you, curse you, bind you to get your attention that whatever you're doing is wrong. Like, you're not an oracle. You're not a proper oracle. But they are so entitled. They can't see the stuff they're doing is making them look like that. And we talk about this all the time, y'all. All the time. These people, I see it. Like, their vision is, they're lost. They're confused. I don't feel like this person can even read tarot that much anymore if they was a reader. All right, yeah, I feel like someone is juggling. And they're not saying it. All right, they're catching a huge tower. It's all in their mind. Somebody is spiraling out mentally. And they're trying to say, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. So they try to get themselves together. But then they get right back into the energy. Somebody is crazy and obsessed over a man. Over the fact that a man like rejected them, denied them. All right. Somebody wish they had diamond jewels and stuff around their neck. It's like they know they don't have this. And they may see you wearing your, your diamond necklace or jewels. Or they see you having this in the future and they're mad about that. It's really sad, y'all. Yeah, these people really wanted the whole collective dead. These group of karmics coming for the whole collective. Y'all groups are groups all together. It's like a whole collective of karmics trying to take us out. Because we moving forward and they want us to go to jail. That's sad. And it's this full moon too. A lot of y'all moving on, but a king of pentacles is trying to stop you. All right, another king, another king. A whole bunch of people. It's like, y'all trying to move on, but you can't. These people are hurt. It's like a whole circle of people that's hurt and won't, they just won't let you go. They just want you to experience something like one last time. I'm going to do one last candle. They said one last candle, please, please, because I really want my my um twin flame, my divine counterpart. Please let this sacrifice work so I can get my counterpart. That's what they thinking. They thinking sacrificing you is going to bring them their person. Like somehow you are withholding their man somewhere the fuck like mm -mm. i feel like you guys are the queen of cups you're very beautiful very beautiful just like this impress i couldn't even enjoy the impress energy you're gorgeous you're beautiful just like this high priestess as well all right yeah i couldn't even enjoy the impress energy when it came out because of all this karmic energy but that's probably how y'all feel like y'all can't y'all can't even enjoy your spiritual level up your spiritual awakening you can't really receive 
it's like you receiving but it's like when you receiving it it's like you receiving it in the midst of chaos so it's so hard for you to enjoy it but you guys are gorgeous okay understand that you're beautiful beautiful okay as f very gorgeous this is all your counterparts well your higher selves okay i wish i could take a good thumbnail without looking crazy yeah they're jealous of you stars they're trying to say no i'm not they get all cross-eyed and get angry be like no i'm not and they it's your life it's your essence your light i'm telling you I mean, I said that to start at the bottom of the deck. It's your light in your life. You're, they, they saw your destiny. These could be a group of oracles, psychics, right? False oracles, false psychics. And they saw your destiny. And they trying to say, you're copying me. Spirit, my spirit guys told me you're copying me. They so immature. These people don't even need spirit guys because they're so damn immature. All right? They need to fucking get out of that Jezebel energy. That hot puss energy. That competitive energy. They need to get out of that. They need to stop comparing your destiny to their destiny because it's not the same. These people want to call you childish because you cursed them out. You cursed them out for being in your energy, for trying to spy on your happy square, your harvest. They trying to say, well, if you ain't had that nothing, why you got a problem with it? That's what they That's what they said. Like, what the fuck? But if, if you was in their energy, if you really was in their energy, spying on them, they would have a problem with it. I, I'm seeing four to five spirit guys, light beings around right now. All right, and they are protected. Understand that they're doing spell work against your spirit team because they feel like they're devils. They're this this broad, this bitch saying that your spirit guys are demons. They're devils. She can't see shit. Her eyes, her third eye is so blocked. It's so crossed up and blocked. It's not even funny. She, I, I feel it like here. She feels this is for her because you know damn well you try to call our spirit guys demons and devils. All right, copying the shit that we say. You need to heal and stop being a whore. Stop sleeping around. Stop keeping your puss open. Y'all need to stop. Sex is not the way to, to get a man. Loving yourself is one way. All right. Oh, yeah. And with the hermit, I forgot to clarify the hermit. These people, they came to you. They was gravitated towards your energy, your light, because they need healing. All right. And they're watching you. All right. And doing rituals behind your back. And they want to stop us from picking up on this energy. Just stop the energy of us picking this up. And that shit working on their asses. These people, they feel them on the hot seat they trying to say but i was once this i was once that well they're not that anymore this is why these people are thinking that they can attack you because they once was somebody but they lost themselves when they scoop low to attack you or, or, or other people in the past before you they watch you and then they gossip and do spell work and all their spells get sent back to them and they be restricted like don't do no more spells they spirit guys be on a on a crown be on a neck don't do another spell even the ancestors be on their neck. Don't do another spell. They get up. They see you following your destiny. They see you intuitive. A lot of you guys are online. Online oracles. Reading your cards. They get all we weary and nervous. Like, damn, you gonna find out. Spirit told me if this was gonna happen. But I got in my ego. and was like, that would never happen. Because I'm, I'm, I'm me. That's what the karma said. I'm me. I did this before and I got away. It ain't the same this time, okay? These people feel like they love to talk about you, Star Seeds. They love to talk about you, but they don't want to talk about themselves. I'm getting this. This person came to you with, like, energy of peace and love. They could have, like, picked you up and came to you, like, peace and love, sent you that type of message. And it, and it was just to, like, trap you. Trap you with a family, all right? Somebody really wants to be with you here. All right, that's outside of your divine counterpart, but they're being blocked. Yeah. Somebody, I feel like somebody really wants, like to be with you to like experience you and then that's it just like a fun time but these people they don't want to get exposed they feel like they have a right to like secretly do spell work behind your back and other people back and if they get caught it's your fault all right it's not their fault it's your fault yeah but you are strong it's like they're trying to like i keep getting this energy someone trying to strip your strength from you and they're messing with like your dna you know codes what's wrong with them it's like you have this with this son of getting light your light codes like why are they trying to like reprogram your light codes and it's it's like it's these karmics doing spells they it's 
Don't get me wrong. I mean, I'm seeing some aliens. I, I mean, there could be some aliens trying to get y'all, but I feel like these karmics were sent here by the fucking aliens to do their dirty work, to do their damn spells, to block us. And just knowing you, anytime you're doing energy work on someone, you are trying to alter their DNA. If you're trying to get someone to stop being intuitive, the intuition is, is attached to their DNA. That's within their DNA. So, yeah, you're trying to alter someone's DNA. You're committing a spiritual crime. Okay, listen here. Leo energy here twice all right they are really strong i feel like these karmic see your resilience they see that your destiny is is protected they see your destiny is protected here and your prosperity you shall remain prosperous okay they trying to like if you talk about twin flames you got a bullshit ass big humpty dumpty reader trying to say you're copying the twin flames you ain't supposed to talk about twin flames. They're saying that because they want all the twin flame attention. And they're going to be put down because that has nothing to do with being spiritual. I want all the twin flame downloads. That's You want to bust your head open trying to know everything about the twin flame. Okay? But anyway, listen. Virgo energy. I feel like your destiny has a lot of prosperity within it. They want that. Yeah, it's a deprived hoe. She ain't got that. She like, I ain't got that in my chart. She got the nine of wands, spiritual wounding. All right. That leads to spiritual healing. That may lead to spiritual rewards. But you have straight up, you know, prosperity. It's your good karma. You deserve this. Yeah. You follow God. You're obedient. With the higher faith, you're a spiritual guide as well. You successfully followed the path and mission that God sent you here for on. All right, there's many missions, and you completed one big mission, and that's dealing with these karmics. It's good karma, and you're very protected here. You guys are completing this cycle full force, closed. It's closed out. It's been closed. These karmics trying to keep it open for no damn reason. I felt them trying to stop our energy because they don't want us living in our purpose. That's why I started the reading saying we need to stop this spiritual competition. If you're not chosen for tarot, you're just not chosen for tarot. You had your time. You had your few years. Let it let it go. You want to make more money. You exalt you you exhausted all of that. These karmics these karmic spiritualists, karmic readers may still think that they're still spiritually exalt exalted, but no, you are spiritually exhausted. You have no more energy to give to the collective. You need to give to yourself. That's why a lot of your readings sound like it's for you it's about you you know what i'm saying because you need to pour love into yourself now then y'all love to project on us small readers and say oh our readings is about us when realistically the stuff that we talk about in our readings we all gone through that's how we're able to talk about it now some things i see i never experienced but it's similar you get what i'm saying it's a similar experience but it's not the exact same thing all right honestly a true teacher Learn through experience, from experience. A real, true life teacher, life coach, spiritual coach. Let, you know, learn and teach through life experiences. This is not something that you can just go on Google and, and, and learn from a teach, uh, from an, another person online, another teacher online. Like, no. You have to sometimes go through it yourself. So, us tarot readers, we've gone through the trenches. That's how we can collect other wounded souls to heal them. That's what makes us the wounded healer. A lot of y'all karmics, y'all wounded, but y'all stopped healing. You get what I'm saying? You're not healing. The difference between us is that we are healing. Us even healing other souls is healing for us. You healing another soul is not healing for you. You come, you come out that session seeing that person happy and you mad and furious because you ain't, you you know, you got paid. But I can you like, I drained my energy doing that. I should never did anything today. Like, you just get all mad, you know? Listen, there's a lot of readers I, that I used to watch. Not a whole lot. Listen, I know y'all karma be switching up my, my, my words. She's, look, she said a lot, a lot of readers. Not like that. Not a lot of readers. But no, I saw enough. But I, listen, there was a few. Not a, It was a lot that I did see on YouTube that posted this. This is what I mean by a lot. All right? A lot of them said, including that big one that I mentioned the other day, a lot of them said this is so hard. Tarot is so hard. They rolling on the ground crying, catching a tantrum, saying how they can't do this no more. You know, they know it's their destiny, but they just feel awful. 
you know, life is just too short to be stressed out by other people's problems. I want to focus on me, collective, so don't be mad if I just detach. You know, I just need a vacation, blah, 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 blah. And then when they see a new, fresh, young, youthful, you know, reader come on, they want to get all competitive. Like, uh-uh, this was for me. I was talking about that. I know you go. I was talking me, me and a month ago. I was talking like, shut up. You start you like you start hating because you start seeing the true chosen rise. And see, the thing is, y'all was called. Y'all was called, but y'all was not chosen. That's why towards the end of your, you know, experience in this tarot world community, you're like drained and, and saying how you can't stand it half the time and how this shit is just annoying and how you just come on camera just to get a check. You want to maintain your, your channel so you can get so you can keep a consistent check. You know you need to be consistent on YouTube. You gotta stay consistent. And um or any other way, so you know, whatever else. Some people they go on live to do, you know, personal live readings. But it's just for the money. They're not going on there because they want to. I haven't done that in a while. My personal life reading because I was being used by karmic. Now, I can go back on there, all right, and make some more money. But I don't want to get used by karmics again. So, I'm just purging that energy out until I'm ready. All right, my whole point is this. I'm not forcing myself to come on live because I need to make money. All right, no. my This is my purpose, my destiny. I control you know, the money that comes in and out of my business. And that's not the only way I can make money off my business. I can manifest another way. I'm multifaceted. All right, y'all readers treat YouTube as like you going to a nine to five. Let me go ahead and go to work today. Let me go ahead and do this today. I'm so tired. I'm so drained. And then you're not even making that much money, but you, you feel stuck in this because you already done created it. You know, you will feel even more dumb letting it go, but you're not getting what you want for it from it. And for a lot of other readers, you know, uh, some of them were called and chosen, but they lost what was chosen for them because they went against the grain. They broke the rules. They don't want to acknowledge that. This, that's why I'm, uh, again, the spiritual competition has to stop. And it's, it's, it all revolves around money. They want views. They, you know, the big reader that I was talking about, she constantly throws up, one will present projections and want to throw up in my face and other people's face how she got all these views, over 100K views and all of that. And that's good, but, you know, can you talk about the energy that you receive back from your collective from that, from those reads? Because like, all you can say is that, oh, my, I'm a, I'm a great reader because of my views. But, like I said, it's natural for you to receive that much on YouTube. You can don't compare yourself to other readers and say, well, other readers ain't doing that. You, you put yourself on a pedestal. You lost your purpose. You lost that whole vision. You lost the entire vision of what you truly here for. It's like all you care about is views. That's all you care about is getting views. You don't care about getting anything else. And then you shit out you shit on other readers who are getting their 1K, 2K, 3K, 4K, 10K. You're not the only one that you know is meant to receive that much views. You and it's like it's a it's a small group of them. It's like a clique of big readers that's attacking small readers because you got one big, big reader. Alright, I don't mean big, big as in numbers. Okay, she's going around fucking saying how we all stealing from, from, from them because they've been here first. All y'all did was just allow God to knock y'all off of those pedestals and show y'all how y'all not chosen for this. Y'all don't come on live, come online, all right, and, and attack other readers, especially if you truly chosen. That's one of the last things should be on your mind is, oh, this reader's going to come into my energy space and steal my destiny, my twin flame. You just creating an illusion in your mind. For, for the longest, I felt like the reality I was living in is not mine. It's someone else trying to live and walk my reality with me. And this y'all karmics, y'all doing all these spells that does not work and then you're not even utilizing it right. It's like how I'm seeing it manifest, especially if it wouldn't work, was a part of you would have been attached to me. All right? Whatever you were trying to take from me was never going to be attached to you. You would have been attached to my ass and I would have been fucking having to cut you off of me. Not the other way around. Y'all need to stop playing with those binding spells. That shit is not cute. Especially since y'all so damn grown. Y'all old enough to be my kid's grandma and great grandma. All right. Y'all is too old to be playing these fucking games. Some of y'all ain't got 50. About to be 60 and shit. Why are you not enjoying your best life? And then you want to get offended and mad when we say this. Oh, I ain't that old. I ain't that young. You want to say I'm young. I'm not that young. I'm. You cannot fool me. You, you know what I mean? Y'all want to sit up here and, and make fun of us. 
Oh, look at this reader. You know, she did that. But the moment we talk about y'all, y'all, y'all flabby asses, y'all want to get on y'all feelings. You know, you acting like a child. You're not healed. And the spirits is clearly showing you how you're not healed. And, and the spirits is showing clearly how y'all mess with that dark side. All right, because whatever strength you did have, that demon took it from you. That same demon you try to send towards someone, all right, or whatever person you try to attack with a hex, their ancestors took that power from you, so you won't ever feel powerful to do it again. And your dingy mind, you're like, I can do it again right now. So it's like, okay, your mind is running you. Your ego is controlled by your mind, okay? Your heart can be too. Keep that in mind. All right, but a lot of people got to work on discernment. People be like, well, how, but isn't your higher self connected with your crown too? It is, light and dark, yeah. You need discernment. So you will know when you in ego or higher self. Or when you can just, you know, know when you just neutral. You just one. Right now, I'm one right now. And you know, a lot of people, a lot of far, <laughs> false ass terror readers, <laughs> they want to get mad at us readers that's bringing in that heat, that fire. And think that, oh, we crazy, we mad, we need to take a spiritual bath. We here to fight against injustice. That's how you fight with your words. Your words are swords too. Like y'all just be forgetting like uh, about spirituality. I don't know what be wrong with y'all. It'd be something really wrong with y'all though, but I don't know. You know, I can't I can't fully pinpoint it, but something is wrong with y'all. I mean, I know y'all soulless and y'all noggin is bad and all of that, but it's, it's, it's something with your perception, man. Your perception is, is way off. You know, y'all don't like when I say that y'all 2D, because y'all are 2D. And it's like, I didn't even say that to my car mates that's watching me. I was saying that as a collective thing, but y'all made that about y'all saying I look at y'all as two-dimensional. You are thinking two-dimensional. You don't even understand what that is. You don't even understand physics. Okay, there's no whiff to, to your perception. It's just a straight damn line. Okay, honestly, and it's like, y'all know what y'all did was wrong. Get off my phone. I'm not doing that right now. They're watching us at a distance. About seven of them watching us. Watching, they looking at us like, oh, you're blessed, you're blessed. Oh, I feel you. I see, I feel and see that you're going to be happy. And they feel shit is ending for them. Your window is closed. The window is closed. I took a door dash off. Y'all time is up. Y'all reign is up. Y'all were just called, but y'all wasn't chosen. Y'all want to say, I'm chosen. I'm chosen. You can see the demon on you from your face expressions. And I'm, and I'm an empath and a medium. I can mimic this in a high class psychic, okay? Not just high level, high class. Not now, money. So I can really, really channel some energy. There's many times where I mimic another soul's energy that's alive. I channeled my grandmother, and my mom said I sounded just like her. My grandmama is alive, okay? So I can channel the undead and the alive, okay? So, well, and the dead. Well, the undead is the dead. I'm saying so, dead. All right, but. I can channel real good, okay? If somebody is, if, they, if somebody like murdered someone, I'm pretty sure if I could feel that person's spirit, I could feel the murderer and reenact how they did it. All right, and I actually saw a movie once of a psychic. She was like that. She was, her sister was still alive somewhere. And her ex-husband burned her alive and buried her or did something, but the sister was still alive and she was connected with her sister. And she literally reenacted and mimicked every single thing that her sister went through that led her up to the the area where her sister was that was where she was supposed to be dead but she was really alive hold on money money please hold on she's so rude she know what i'm doing she just want me to answer her first but um yeah and i remember the scene where she was like mimicking a part where her sister was being burnt up and it was like you would see the sister mimicking it and then they would show a flashback of the sister going through it okay so my whole point is is that i can feel a lot all right and um damn what was my whole point of that my, my whole point is like y'all karma just need to stop doing what y'all doing okay we can pick up on a lot of um energy because we're we're divine. We have the right to see this. It's like this, you know, a lot of y'all comments are trying to say you don't have the right to see this. You know, you don't have the authority to see these things. And you guys do have the authority to see these things. They're the fool to think that they have the power, all right, and the authority to, to do this. And you don't. And you're not doing nothing to them. They swear to God that you're doing something to them. All right. And I feel like these people are going to die swearing this. Like you did something to them. All right. Listen. 
did y'all i mean i think it's the stuff that you said that's what i feel i feel like y'all moved on and this devil followed you because you rejected them they mad because you told him no you blocked him you said no you said no you told his masculine no could have been a female or freight friend trying to come in you said no they tried many times you said no now they're trying to say that you attack them spiritually because you don't want to let them in they trying to say you said it you said it the first time you attacked me you never said that you never said that they said you told somebody when you spiritually attacked me you never said that you never said that they're lying on an earth angel and that's why they're being blocked by the ancestors the ancestors are very fair and they're seeing that you ain't do anything wrong this person lied they are a liar all right all these karmics that's watching me y'all not chosen all y'all karmics that's watching me for them karmic readers and spiritualists y'all not chosen and y'all know this by now this is why i'm blocking y'all dumb asses yeah y'all be trying to stay hidden like but y'all be like wide open i just i be feeling y'all right away i just let y'all stay honestly because i be trying to get along i don't want to be blocking everybody and y'all all attacking me by the by the fucking dozens so i just try to keep the peace but y'all still end up blocking me in, in silence so i just gotta block y'all a lot of y'all just be delusional thinking that somebody copying off of you like who's copying like we're blessed we don't need to copy that's why the spiritual competition got to stop. You get what I'm saying? Like, I don't I don't have time. And then y'all be watching us afraid. Y'all be watching us, but be scared while watching us because you're afraid that we're going to call you out. Like, you're bullshit. It's like these karmics don't even, like, know you or anything like that. They just be assuming, like, when well, my intuition said, this could be a Pisces that's claiming to be working for you but really working against you. Okay. I'm getting a cup of coffee, okay? That's standing out here. All right, some of y'all drink coffee or, or y'all should use some coffee for your magic because coffee is very magical, okay? You can give your ancestors coffee, especially if they like that. But um, somebody could be mad that you're giving offerings to your ancestors. Yeah, they. Tr it's like whatever they're saying about you is not true. All right, with this two of swords, yeah, I'm getting, like, block communication. Like, this is why you block communication with them, because they were just lying. All right, and I feel like this is, like, being blinded to the truth. They don't want people to see the truth, know the truth. They're, listen, somebody could be a Pisces, man, really sad and depressed. Somebody's really sad and depressed. Somebody, depression spell hit their asses, and, and someone is rooted, too. They slowed down. They got to heal. Spirit showed somebody something. Somebody saw something, like, real fast in the third eye. All right, and then I'm seeing them running away. Somebody probably ran away from the battlefield because they saw they was going to die. But they was going to be sick, so they had to stop. Yeah, they had to walk away from the battlefield, yep, because they saw they was going to die. They, they kept trying to fucking attack you. That's what God said. You know, she said, no, whoever this person was could be a she or he. They said, no, they. I said she at first, so it could be a she. All right, yeah, you a child of God, man. If this person want to maintain their good spirit, name with god they need to stop attacking you all right and your emperor your divine masculine here all right there's a masculine here all right that's giving you an offer a lover this is a lover here your divine counterpart they're trying to confuse him but like confuse his mind send him lies towards his mind so he'll believe that you are karmic your family karmic you're going to give him karma. These people think they so powerful to do this. These stupid ass witches. They thought that they was powerful, man. I'm getting there. I want you to tap into the golden bloodline, the golden era. And you see, that's what blocked them from being tapped in. They're fools. They feel foolish. They feel dumb. They're looking at you feeling dumb. And like, this was a waste of my time. They, it's not even that fucking serious. These people wasted their damn souls doing this shit to you. And they could have listened. They could have did all this listening to somebody else. You are me. You do look like me in my robe. That's funny. Who said I don't look like my kid? You're a jealous hater that, that, that probably don't even have kids. That's probably never going to conceive. You got all these fertility problems. And, and it's because of your overweight, your bad weight. I mean, I mean your, your bad diet. Okay? It's not always because you're overweight. Because I know somebody that... um. I won't even consider overweight because she looks good to me. All right, but she had a baby, and I didn't know she was pregnant. All right, y'all hoes are just unhappy, so it's just it's breaking down your fucking womb. You're just cracking up your womb. 
your, 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 you know where your womb is? Your chakra, your emotions and stuff is there. You depressed all the time. You just shooting up your womb with, with depression. All right, God forbid you bring in a sad child. Y'all need to just get yourself together. Y'all need to really stop looking down on people and think that the collective is going to choose you because you a big reader. You got more than me. Like, you, that, no, you got a big ego. You got a big ass ego with this persona. It's not a good persona. It's a bad persona here. You need to rest. You need to rest and sit your ass down. Okay? Because no one is coming for all you. Listen, and I, I don't care who gets in their feelings if I say you a karmic, if you here working for the karmic. All right? Like, honestly, you was already cold towards me back then, lying in my face, being two-faced. Be cold now. The fuck? Keep that same energy. Don't be trying to be flip-floppy. Oh, I like it today. I, oh, I hate it tomorrow. Then y'all be out here putting out all these spells for me to lose my kids and stuff. Y'all need to, y'all kiss my ass. All right, y'all keep heading towards abundance as well. Y'all karmics kiss my ass. And y'all keep heading towards abundance. I feel like one day y'all gonna wake up to your harvest. All right, and I feel like for a lot of you guys, you are waking up to it. A lot of you guys, every day you're waking up to it. It's like every day you are receiving, I'm just getting one day you're gonna just receive a huge big harvest. A huge wave of prosperity. These karmas saying, what? What you said? What did you say? Are you talking to me? Because I don't know if you talk. This These karmas at a distance from you. Watching you online. Watching what you say. Watching your posts and stuff. Trying to figure out if you're talking about them. Why they just won't call you? Why they won't message you, email you? They scared. They need to shut up. You have a lot of integrity. I feel like your integrity is the reason why you're, you're receiving your abundance. And then they be like, oh, I feel you are talking about me. I feel like you are, so I'm going to go ahead and do a protective spell. You just love spells. You just love burning them black candles, huh? Listen, this is why this whole year these karmas are going to be stuck. They're going to be stagnant. Listen, to you guys, you may be like, I don't see nothing stagnant about you. Other people may say that too, but they're going to be feeling very stagnant in the inside. Listen, you guys are going to wake up to abundance. I'm telling you, one day you're just going to wake up to Pam. A, a huge feast of abundance. I'm telling you guys, that's what I'm getting with this abundance awaken. Y'all gonna rest, wake up to a whole bunch of abundance, okay? New energy. And that energy just gonna keep on. That's that billionaire energy. Why they keep trying to block your, your vision, you from seeing that for yourself? That's evil. Your intuition already confirmed that for you. So you don't need no one else to tell you. These karmas, they're hating on your spiritual business because these are people that have like failed spiritual businesses because they chose the Jezebel life. They chose, you know, Throwing their ass in the air instead of freaking choosing spirituality. So they're mad because they see your business is actually strong and built on a strong foundation and you're really spiritual. And they looking back at they looking back. And when they look back, they looking back at you, they looking back like around them, like they seeing what's all around them. And they see it's nothing compared to what you got going on. Alright, I'm telling you, somebody just be throwing their ass in the air, just be like they ass just be all over the place. This is a whore. All right, these karmics are curious. Like, oh, how you gain so much spiritual integrity? It's like they're trying to, like, use your energy to build themselves up spiritually because they're spiritually weak. But they're not going to do what you're doing with your integrity. They're just going to take that, feed, you know, well, eat off of it, feed themselves with it. And they keep doing the same low vibrational stuff that they're doing and they need to change. All right, somebody trying to say, there's no twin. That's not your twin. That's an imaginary twin. What? What? Did, listen, and then when y'all be like, what you said? Did you say this? They be like, I ain't say that. I ain't, I ain't say that. They be like, I ain't say that. That's what they be like. <laughs> That's how they be like. They be like, I ain't say it. Money, give me something to drink, please. No, no, no. You're trying to cop block me by saying that I said something that I didn't say, but I really did say behind your back, but I don't want you to know that I said it behind your back. Ice cream. I want ice cream. Y'all, they, they said something about your kids, and they said something about your light and your life. And you was like, huh? What you said? What was those whispers? Because my spirit guys already told me what's up. They were like, I ain't say that. That wasn't me. But it was them. Listen, you know you're enough. That's why you had to disappear from these damn, this karmic energy. I'm feeling they really trying to stop your flow. They really trying to stop your good energy, y'all, with voodoo. And it's like they trying to do it in a way where you won't know what's happening. You'll just think it's you. Like so I feel like the voodoo creeping up on these damn karmics. Yeah, with this unfolding, I feel like I'm feeling someone else's energy. Cause y'all know this energy is not gonna happen to y'all. I feel like cause y'all too natural. Alright, it's definitely destined and meant for y'all to keep going. These people feel like it's destined and meant for them to keep going, but they only doing it for the money. And I feel like their money is running out with this present and money. In the present moment, moment, their money is running out. Money, you got to wait. 
I don't feel like these people are motivated. If these, I'm not doing nothing at all because you interrupt me a bunch of times. All right, if you guys all do the same thing, like I say, y'all all spiritualists, y'all all tarot readers. I feel like your motivation is different than theirs. Like what motivates them is money. What may, what motivates you is the collective. Like I, I wonder what can I do? Like how can I collect help the collective today? They trying to steal that vision from you, so they can build what you're meant to um, build. Have what you know? They figure if I have the same vision as you, I can have it. These, this is why these people getting their ass whooped in the inside. Like they hold, they they know if they see you, it's on sight. And they know you have every right to fuck their asses up. For a lot of you guys, you didn't even know these fucking people. And they could have said that about you. If I see you, it's on sight. And you ain't do now they now they trying to run away from you. Talking about some they'll run you over and all this extra stuff. And now they scared. They afraid of what's gonna come back. Alright, with this be open, I feel like y'all like these karmic energies is open. I feel like these karmics open up their energy to you for your yeah. They open up the energy for your energy to receive your energy. All right, and with this uh, the unknown, I'm getting God block that. And close up your energy whatever they're trying to open. Okay, and and God is protecting your cosmic flow. I don't know what's wrong with these people. Why are they trying to block all this cosmic energy? These got to be like reptilians. You know, they I don't care if they're not in the White House. They are reptilians. I'm telling you. They're, they're, they're doing the real dirty work. Okay? Attacking us chosen ones. All right? Us sibyls. Here, that's, that's us beings that's here to be God's prophet, God's chosen. Universe's children, too. They keep spying on us. They know we from space, man. So that's when they be like, all right, send that karmic. Send that karmic. What's her birth child? We we her will. Oh yeah, we out and we got that karmic there waiting. Go go ahead and send them. I'm telling you these karmics work for, for that one percent plus spiritually. This is why they doing all this dumb shit. They, they going all out and they, it's like yeah they do want your destiny, but they're not gonna do what you're meant to do with your purpose. They claim like yes I am, I am. That's what they're trying to say, but they're not. Amani, can you please give me something to drink? They're really jealous of you, Starcy. They're jealous of your downloads, your messages. They're jealous of your messages, your looks here. Yeah, you're about to receive the whole world. Love from the world. Okay, they're jealous of your messages. It's like they be roasting you. All right, and then when you catch on to it, they be like, I never said that. And I'm not about to go back and forth with you. All right, but they, they was just roasting you like a bitch. They know you'll whoop their ass. It's not about that, but they'll know you fuck their ass up. Like, this is someone that's real. Like, they, they, they think that they're better than you. Even your children. They, like, they look down on your children. All right? These people, they, they need to heal their soul. Their spirit is gone. All right? It's real gone. This is them. I told you. Karmic had blood around her lips. She's a vampire. And she's trying to take you out because you're an empath you're able to absorb energy too like a vampire but you transmute vampires can be transmuters you transmute right? and you give back this is a bitch that want to suck she's evil wow empath came out second look what look how the card is aligned it's like y'all trying to run away from these motherfuckers like i said earlier they chasing you trying to suck from you it's like, listen, these karmics think you absorb their energy and, and you running with it. That's crazy. What energy? They mad because they feel weak and stuck now because the most high blocked them and restricted them from doing magic. And utilizing that 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 crosses third eye. And that third eye need to be blocked. It was lying to them half the fucking time. Alright, these people feel fucking privileged to have your motherfucking gifts. This is someone here watching me trying to say there is no vampires. There's no good vampires or you're a good vampire? Ha, ha, ha. I'll be the good vampire. But it was just said in... <laughs> Let me just keep going. Y'all, this was a true adventure that you went went on with these damn karmics, okay? These karmics, they were saying shit like, I'll fly out to you and whoop your ass. I need a vacation. I'll fly where you at. <laughs> and then when you say it back to them, they like, you, you, you karmic. Why would you even say that? They crazy, man. Listen, dead fucked. Dead fucked. They really trying to get you caught up and crossed up with some confusion. They want you to cry. 
You ain't gonna cry. That's on them. They crying. They're crying because they try to hex you with their with their energy. All right, listen, this is someone that's not a fashion witch. She's not fashionable at all, but she thinks that she is, and she's trying to steal your fucking essence. She is. This dumb troll bitch, she don't even know who the hell you are. She called you a bitch many times. You done bitch. You bitch. That's why God guided me to get this deck, so I can be cursing y'all asses right back that's watching me calling me a bitch. Oh, you think you're an empath bitch? You, done, you dumb empathic bitch? If that's not even what it is, you dumb bitch. You bitch. You just took all your anger out on me, huh? And that's why Spirit using you as a punching bag now. Because you had no business taking out all your fucking shadow, simpy ass, insecure energy out on me. You should have never tried to do that shit. All right, y'all bitches acting like y'all better than somebody here. All right, we are legends. Get it through your thick ass skull. We are legends. You will never be the only legend. You are too condescending and conceited to even think and believe that you fucking are. I meant to say conceited, but condescending is coming out again. You too conceited if you think you're the only damn legend on this planet. All right, this bitch ain't check my birth chart. Check my destiny. Check, you gonna see. But this bitch doing something completely opposite than what you're walking. The path that you're walking. Doing completely opposite of what you're doing, I meant to say. Especially if y'all both readers. She may be doing more, and she may be dabbling more into other projects than, than tarot, than the collective. And then she want to say, well, the other work I'm doing is for the collective. Yeah, but yo, you, it's like a separate energy. It's not the same. You're helping the collective in a different way. And then, you, you know, this bra want to try to come back in and try to get whatever spot back. But it's like, I, I don't, listen, I feel like honestly she missed her spot in line. Because she chose other opportunities, other endeavors, other doors open for her. And she chose those doors or him. Now they want to, now those other doors is, is taking a little bit too, <clears throat> too, it's like, it's almost like, yeah, they're open. But they're taking the grand finale door is taking too long to open or this person just not patient so they trying to come back to tarot and tar the tarot world tarot land is just not accepting them like how they once was okay money no yeah i feel like this is just a simple bitch this is a simp all right she's a vampire she's saying that you're trying to take her spot she got an ego problem she listen i feel like you know these people they i feel like honestly they realize something too late and they're trying to clean it up and fix it with god and it's just too late you're an empath man they can't change your look i told you bitch came out oh you you empathic bitch bitch oh you this bitch 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 that's why god guided me to get this this deck so i can fuss your asses right back out yes god used me to get this deck to call you guys the bitch where y'all don't even know who god is y'all think god accepted y'all doing death spells you think god is going to decline me because i got a deck that says bitch all right and you was doing death spells and you was out here calling people copycats and shit yes god wants me to expose you by calling you a bitch yes Y'all need to understand the shadow. God is is not above. Well, he's above a lot of things. Let me not let me not go there. He's above a lot of things, but he's not gonna shun me because I said a bad word. You know, he's not gonna do that. Okay. So stop acting like you're above me. Okay, because God don't think how you think. Y'all don't even know how God thinks. Some of y'all don't even think God thinks. You know, like <laughs> like why do God got to think? Yeah, and, and that's what I meant by sometimes y'all some, some of y'all think God don't think like God does not have, you know, a mind, a crown, a, a consciousness, you know, a free will. It's like y'all trying to tell God what to do. Yeah, I want to throw up the Bible, but you don't even understand the Bible yourself. You being a Jezebel. No, I'm talking about the Bible. But anyway, like I said, this person was just always looking at you saying, You a bitch, you a simple minded bitch. Oh, you a vampire. Oh, you think you're a good vampire? No, I'm going to suck that from you. I'm going to just erase that from you so you can stop saying it. Like, this would be, this was a bully. This was a bully. This is why, you know, she may feel like you want to be her ass and fight her because she knows she's doing some bitchy shit. She was in her shadow. She was very jealous when she found out the truth about you. Talking about some check my, my destiny. When she see yours and, and, and she got checkmate. She got checkmate it. <laughs> By God. Okay, these comments don't know God. They like they expect God to accept them shaking their ass, all right, in front of other other women, men. But they expect God to hate you for calling them a bitch. Okay. It's almost like this person was almost trying to say God is not above killing you, shunning you, destroying you. 
All right, when God is above a lot of things, and God is above your ass, karmic. It's like everyone is going to awaken that this karmic is a true bitch. All right, and you know, yeah, they they may be an empath, but they're not the same. Their in, their energy is more into like mainstream media. It's not humbleness. Stay in your lane, karmic. Mind your fucking business. All right, I feel like a lot of people gonna be telling this karmic to just stay in their lane and leave you the fuck alone because you are unique. You are chosen as well. You are special. They need to leave you the fuck alone. And they like, bitch. Bitch, you troll. They like, you troll. You And then, then they make fun of your teeth. They make fun of your eyes, the, your ears. They make fun of your children. This is why this broad feels like, you know, you gonna fight her. She's thinking like, oh, she gonna fight me. She wanna fight me. This is why she feeling that shit. Because she was talking a lot of shit. This is a bitch. This is a bitch that like get jumped. Like she's the type to like get jumped. Because the, the slick shit she say behind, you know, people back. Okay? And I feel I feel strongly this broad try to like maybe set this up for you to get jumped. But try to make maybe make you feel bad about the things you say. And try to say things like, oh, me and my friends would jump her. But she's the one that needs to get jumped. All right, she listen. She's a she's a caddy bitch. She don't know you. This this broad don't know you. She don't know you. That's the thing. She's realizing like I don't know her. She could have been saying for a long time, you don't know me. You don't know me. <clears throat> well, now you know, and you see she's a caddy bitch. She don't know you. You're a legend, and you will eat her alive. All right, you eat up her gaslighting. You'll eat up her 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 anger management. You'll eat up her black magic, her narcissistic mindset, and her trauma bonding. You'll just eat up her white privilege. You'll, you and your ancestors will fuck her up. You will win. All right? Any day, you will win. All right? This is a troll that's mad because you're winning. And you're receiving the world. You're an influencer. You're receiving a lot of love from the collective. And they, and they want you to be an influencer. You're receiving a lot that's making you this influencer. You deserve this. You took care of yourself. You healed. All right? And now you are walking in your destiny. You guys are on the podcast. Yeah, speaking your truth. They're mad about this. I'm telling you, they're like, why you keep saying speaking on the podcast? Why you keep pulling these same cards? You can get the same messages. Okay, the collective get it. The collective know. They're chosen. They know. Can you talk about something else? They want to talk about people. These karmics are going to hell. I don't care about whatever bullshit they say they got with God. God is not honoring that no more. They think they're better than people. That's the fucking problem. And they're getting checked for thinking that they're better than some damn body. You not... Listen. They ain't no better than the fucking shit that's on the fucking ground outside, okay? Wherever there's shit. Alright? They ain't... That's... Listen... They don't want me to hurt their feelings. Jealous bitch. Jealous bitch. Like, y'all came online and y'all just started dealing with all these jealous bitches and they thought you didn't know how to fight. Defend yourself, even with your words. They're mad. Every time you say some shit, they get pissed off. You be seeing stuff in your readings and y'all online reading. <clears throat> they like, oh, you talking about me. You talking about me. I can't believe this bitch is talking about me. You talking about your fucking self. You need to stay out of people's energy with your angry ass. And go heal that jealous ass that you got. You need to heal because all the shit that you putting out, out there, you calling it in. You calling in all this confusion in your life, okay? So stop and, they, and stop blaming us for why we going through shit. When it's not, when y'all know it's y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like, they trying to say, oh, it's your fault why you got money problems, blah, blah, blah. Like, I know what I'm capable of. But don't come to our channel, our social media and attack us behind your shit. And trying to say it's our shit. We feel what the fuck y'all doing to us. Stop saying that's our problems. That's not our problems. Y'all out here sending us all these black magic spells. To attack us because you don't like what we saying. And then when we complain about it you want to say oh it's our life. It's what we're doing. And these bitches motherfucking know your name and shit. Listen this is, these people see themselves getting. I'm getting. A mop is going to have to clean up blood. That's how badly you breaking somebody fucking face and they're still alive. But there's, there's a lot of bleeding coming from their, their their nose and their lips. That's just how bad you fucked this person up. They may need to go to the ambulance. They should have left you the fuck alone. This could, listen, they better chill. They they got all catty and bitchy over you being a billionaire. Your, your destiny is, is attached to billionaire status. You manifested this. 
based upon the decisions you made in life, which led you to your destiny, a destined billionaire status. You can manifest your destiny. Who, who, like most of us do. They want people to say it just comes to you. Yeah, it did just come to me, and I manifested it into the three D. All right, listen. They wanted to fight you over your billionaire status. All right, and they got their asses. They got really heartbroken. Then with this, with this, I'm getting like heartbroken heart, like you, like trauma. They're traumatized by you because you booked their ass spiritually. All right, they're traumatized now by being this bitch, this catty bitch, and it's like they can't unsee themselves back in that same energy they once was in. That high horse, they can't see themselves in that energy no more. They got fucked up. And they, and for the longest, they was trying to blame you for why they going through shit, and they wasn't going through shit. And now they're really going through shit, and they can't blame you. For the longest, they didn't like you, and, and when they was bullying you and saying they didn't like you, they was being a, 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 a bitch or a dick. Saying things like, you can't whoop me, you can't beat me, you will never touch me, you will never know this, that, and the third. And this person got their asses fucked up, mopped. All right, where well, a mop had to come clean up that blood on the floor. Now, I'm seeing this as metaphysical, I mean, metaphysical, um, metaphorical, okay? Well, this could have been spiritually, y'all spiritually beat this person up. It's equivalent to them being bloody and they're fucking traumatized, spiritually traumatized. They better leave you the fuck alone because God is going to make you a billionaire. They're mad at God for blessing you and not them. They're a whore. There's someone that opened up their legs that like, like all the time. Like they're just a whore. It's like, yeah, they're just, they're not high vibrational star seats. They're not high vibrational. I don't care what they have to fucking say. They're not high vibrational, and they've been trying to stop your energy, stop you from pulling cards for the longest time. All right, they try to stop you from pulling cards for the longest fucking time, Star Seeds. Trying to steal your energy. It's like they're doing the spell to sting your energy, steal your energy, but they're not receiving your energy, but you're feeling them stealing your energy. So this is why they gotta pay. I'm telling you, somebody could be a gray. Then they want to say, oh, I like your cards. You know, I like this. They're jealous of you. They realize that they made a mistake. Like, they let it go. You know, like, spirituality. Like, they let this shit go. All right. That's what I'm getting. They gonna, well, at least in the near future, they're going to be looking at you like, oh, I like you now. I'm done with tarot. Blah, blah, blah. Look, tall, gray. Somebody, um, father is a gray. I'm telling you, a tall gray, an evil gray. He's like a, a gray scientist. All right, and I'm telling you, his daughter is here experimenting on you, okay? Her spiritual father is a gray. All right, could be an earth sign. or Yeah, it could be an earth sign or somebody have earth placements. Y'all could be an earth sign. I feel like you guys are adapting to the changes that surround you. Like, you guys definitely survived this. You definitely did. All right, and Romanians. Yeah, you guys have family in the stars. All right, like I said, religion comes from the stars. I'm getting, like, which, which, which religion is, is, is what is this? Hebrew Israelites, I'm seeing one of them. That's one of the main ones that come from the stars. We look at that as religion. All right, auto money? Uh, well, this is, like, freedom. Free will, manifestations, andro medium. You guys are stepping into your andro medium power. This person trying to say, I'm a star seed. I stepped into my star seed power first. That, listen, that has nothing to do with you. And they want to say, well, yeah, but you, you, you're in competition, like, you never one time even displayed competitive energy. They just assumed you was copying them because you guys talked about the same thing. Like, like for me, these readers want to say I'm copying them because I'm talking about royalty. You know, you guys being miracle workers. You know, you guys um, dealing with soul sacrifices, twin flame. All of a sudden, all these big readers are trying to say I'm copying them. And they want to try to turn the blind eye to you guys and make y'all think it's us because we're small readers and y'all big readers and y'all been talking about this it's reverse psychology and it's it's straight up bullshit manipulation and only a fucking blind a blind dummy would not see that okay and they think that us small readers are working hard to knock them down they listen the thing is they want to be able to put out mediocre readings and still do their little bullshit on the side and receive all this money while we out here struggling all right spiritually and with our spiritual business because they don't want to share the space. So God's about to knock them off the space. Yeah, these people are denying their shadow self. Their shadow self is a whole as a as a tall gray. 
It is. It's a tall grain. It's very intimidating and in it experiments on people. It do all type of um weird alchemy where they're like mixing humans with, with animals and shit. It's not good. Yeah, it says romance, soulmates, empathy. I feel like you guys, you and your person are true lovers, true soulmate lovers here. All right, and I feel like you guys are grounding with each other. You and your person could be an earth sign of earth placement. Look, Anunnaki. I feel like you guys could be battling an Anunnaki egotistical person right now. All right, that's exactly what I'm getting. I feel like you guys could be up against a bunch of conflicted, controlling, drama-filled, egotistical-ass Anunnakis. That's exactly what I'm getting. Okay, these Anunnaki blood. Some of y'all do have ancient Anunnaki blood, but it's pure. It ain't with all this ego shit. All right, I feel like, and I feel like y'all are more like in this Andromedian energy than in a knock energy. Like maybe you express Andromedian more than in a knock. Somebody name starts with an A, G, S, or E or V. All right, but I feel like you guys are being attacked by Anunnaki's, and they can even say like, "I know I'm Anunnaki. I know I'm this. I know I'm that." All right, somebody's trying to say the Anunnaki because um. Well, it's trying to say the Anunnaki because of Egypt. All right, it wasn't just um, Anunnaki's in Egypt. It was Syrians in Egypt, Larians in Egypt. But there were some Anunnaki. This person could be jealous because you know more about Egypt. They, this person don't even know about Egypt like that. They just saw whatever they saw in their third eye and just called it out. Because within them, they was already familiar with it. Yes, this person trying to say, oh, you saw stuff first before you knew. I didn't know. I just woke up to it. No, that, listen, you see... Well, you had to see something in the, in the 3D in order for you to click or have an awakening in the 5D, right? So, it really, does it really matter though? Because that's what just came up. Like this person trying to say, I saw everything in my third eye about Egypt. You didn't. You saw everything from the outside. Then you came to me and learned everything. That's a fucking lie because I feel like some of y'all may know like more about ancient Kimmy than this person. I'm not about to go there. I'm not about to go there. But this person, like, yeah, they did see in their third eye. And, and you saw in your third eye and with your third eye and beyond that. Some of y'all saw in things in your heart space. Okay. And this is crazy. Miss Carmen trying to say, you know, you're trying to bring competition to, like, the collective or people around you. You're trying to bring this energy there by, like... This person, I, I swear, they about to get slapped in their fucking head. Yeah, the Galactic Federation is about to, like, really snap some sense in this person's head. They protect you. This is someone that don't realize that the Galactic Federation can step in, all right, just like how an ancestor would, and protect. You guys could be a water sign, all right? I feel like someone claimed they're meeting with the Galactic Federation, but I feel like it's opposite. Somebody could be trying to reach, reach to the Galactic Federation to, like, tell on you to them. So they can attack you, but they're being blocked from that. I'm seeing like a lot of the Galactic Federation are children of the sun. All right. Even if they are like ETs and stuff like that, they come from God's creation here. Do these karmics know these things? I don't think so. Pentagram, harmony, protection. Yeah, listen, you guys are protected. All right. Your idolism is protected. Whatever you believe in is protected. Blue avians, they're here again. Why are they mad and just? Because we connected with these things. They need to get this deck of cards and read the book. And stop being a Jezebel and stop hoeing around. And, you know, they're not living life right. This is sad. Yeah, again, you guys are made of the golden ratio. I'm literally seeing, like, your DNA formulated with this golden ratio. You guys are very beautiful. All right, you're, you're, you're organic here with that nature and patterns. I feel like you guys, you know, y'all went through the same thing a lot. And I feel like you guys are tired of going through the same thing. I feel like it's the, I'm also getting the karma. It's like, they're all in your motherfucking energy trying to say they're tired of going through this. They're tired of doing this. Like, won't they just stop fucking doing it then? Won't they just stop? This is the pattern. Y'all been going through the same fucking pattern with these narcissists. And it's like, y'all just knocking. It's like your light alone is just knocking out all these narcs because they ain't supposed to be here. Like, a lot of them going to be dropping dead and all this extra stuff. And then they want to say, it's like when you tell them this to stop because something bad going to happen, they want to say, you're lying. You're just trying to stall fear in me. Like, what is wrong with these people? These people got real mental issues. Like, they, be, they look and think like a little kid. 
Oh, you're just trying to instill fear in my soul. Oh, oh, oh. I don't trust a word you say. Because I feel like you're lying to me. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, listen, I'm so sick. <laughs> Okay, listen, somebody just want to, I'm telling you, I'm getting a strong sense of feeling. Somebody is like, they're trying to make you stop reading like your cards and living your destiny. And that ain't working. And it's like, it's making them want to stop. It's making their asses want to stop. Like somebody just want to quit. All right. But why? You know, it's like. I don't know. Somebody could be realizing like now the money ain't worth it. All right. The money they once received. All right, maybe from the platform, social media, YouTube, they ain't receiving that much anymore. Okay, these people may want to know how much money you making on, on social media. Ain't none of their business. They they want to know just so they can feel better. Like, oh, I'm, you know, I'm making more, you're making less. What, the movie? Why you look so worried? Let me get a, let me get a piece of that nose. Yeah, they, listen, they're collaborating together to work against you. But you're a star, honey. You're just going to keep shining. Nothing they're going to do is going to work. They got readings done on you. All right? And it's like they're reading each other, which is a bad thing. Because they're all, like, in the same energy of trying to check you. So they all going to pick up on the same bullshit energy. It's like it's bad. All right? They may feel like, I'm above that. I, I, I can pick up on anything. And they can't. They're picking up their energy. Yeah, they can do it. All right, yeah, these listen, these people are left out in the cold, man. they they have scarcity mindsets and they teach look, she's about to do it. They have scarcity mindsets and they teach and it's like this queen of soil specifically like to teach other people how to like, you know, deprive others because she deprived. She once had prosperity and she lost it, so she that's over her head. No, no Tita. She she lost that prosperity, all right, that vision she had. So now she's trying to deprive other people and restrict them. Yeah, she's wounded and spiritually restricted. She's she got binding spells all over her. Yeah, listen, seven of um pinnacles. This is her um graveyard spell. She's stagnant. All right, and I feel like the angels is, is making sure she stays stagnant. Yeah, listen. It's like she said she's chosen, but yeah, she's restricted. That don't even make sense. She keeps doing more spell work on you. And she keeps saying she's chosen to do it. This person gonna be lying in a grave somewhere. I'm telling y'all. All right, I'm not even trying to be funny, but that's literally what I'm getting here. They're not chosen. All right, you guys are here. You guys, I feel like whatever work you're doing, you're chosen to do that. And this Jezebel is trying to copy that. She's literally trying to like hop on your wave. But little hot pussy self. All right, listen, she's definitely a fool. She ain't right. She could be a, um, a fire sign. She's karmic. She's a Jezebel. She's karmic with her pooms. She's breaking a lot of laws with her pooms, man. And one of the laws is like getting pregnant on purpose of getting like, pre like purposely getting pregnant to break up a marriage. Like that, that's that's karmic. You want to create a lot of karma for your baby. All right. I feel like there's a man that want to move on from this broad, but he can't because she's still attached to him. Yeah, she's attached to his money. Her pooms is hot. Somebody got hot pooms, man. Like in like in the sense of like they love to have sex. And they hide that. They hide their little sexual desires and pleasures. They love sex here. Yeah, I feel like with this ten of swords here, I feel like they about to have an ending. All right, yeah, I feel like that's what they wanted for you. They trying to say, oh, you you were stealing all my energy from back then. That's why I'm not the same now. No, you ain't the same because you a fucking hot puss. You're blessed, all right? And you're blessed to have your divine masculine. These people, I feel like they little hot pussies, the reason why they ain't got no man in their life. All right, and it's like they, I feel like a lot of these people are single too. A lot of them ain't got no children. All right, they may have nieces and nephews, but they ain't got no kids. And then they out here, that's why they feel good to fight other people's kids with, with spell work. And even if they got kids, their spells are circling back around onto their kids if they was attacking your kids. And that's happening because they shouldn't have did it in the first place. They broke a lot of spiritual laws and rules, God's laws, God's rules. God is very heavily in this energy. All right, they, they say they believe in God, but soon they're not going to be believing in God anymore or trusting God. Listen, God chose you over this karmic. All right, you are an oracle, a, a sibyl. What, let me see. Sibyl, sibyl, S-Y-B-I-L, prof, a prophetess, oracle. This is you. Okay? God chose you. He chose his, his prophet 
his oracle daughter over this Jezebel whore that's not even a part of God's ancestry. She just added herself there because I feel like she got at it because her, her people is a gray. And you know what the grays, you know, and the rest was doing. So, yeah, there we go. Yeah, I feel like this Carmen, is, is she on the hot seat? Somebody, they're, they're like shitting a lot. All right, it's like diarrhea. Somebody got diarrhea. All right, that's that's them releasing that black magic. And, and it's happening real, real intensely for them. Yeah, there's a whole group of them. They all shitting like crazy. All right, somebody could have buffalo wings too. Yeah, wild bu buffalo wild wings in here. And yeah, somebody went out on a date on buffalo wild wings. This is someone that go on like on escort dates with like older men. Yeah, they like them some older men, man. They're a little whore. All right, this this could be like an OnlyFans type of person. I don't know, but they was talking about you, and they can't talk shit about you no more because they like fucking. There's nothing wrong with liking older men if they're young. <coughs> the problem is, you escorting with older men that's married. All right, you're escorting with older men. All right, for money. You're a sex worker. Some of these, some of these, some of these tarot readers are sex workers. They're frauds. You are not in the same caliber as I. You are a sex worker. Don't get me wrong. Your work is significant. You're healing these men, but you're not a tarot reader. You cannot mix sex work with oracle work. You got to let one go. And if your sex work bring you them bands, but tarot is coming and bringing in bands, but it's a lot slower, you got to choose. Clearly, you want to choose the sex work because it's making you money. Don't be mad at any other tarot reader that is making it work. Rather, they making big bands or small bands. Don't be mad. And don't, definitely don't be mad if she making big bands. All right? You got to choose. You can't be a sex worker and a, a healer, you know, or an oracle. It's, it's, it's not, you're not, it's, it's, a whole separate, it's just two separate categories. That's like you being five, year old, five years old in the 12th grade. You know, like, uh-uh, that's, you're not even supposed to be in the 12th grade. You need to still be in kindergarten. You know what I'm saying? Then, plus, you know, you have to learn a lot on the soul level to ascend out of that sex work. All right? You got to get out of that sex working job or life if you want to be a high priestess, prophet, oracle. All right? It's one thing if you want to mingle, but you can't be mingling for money. Or you can't be mingling for money and then sleeping with him real quick at the hotel room. That's nasty. She ain't getting no pizza. Yeah, it's like all this competition is being slowed down and stopped. All this spiritual competition is about to be slowed down and stopped. All right? And like the true chosen and gifted ones. Hold on. Get out of my... The true chosen and gifted ones are going to receive what's destined and blessed for them. What's destined for them and what's, what they're blessed um to have. There's a huge blessing in store for you, um, star seed chosen ones. Yeah, and I feel like... This Queen of Pentacles is not included. She wants a piece of your money. She's like, I'm the Queen of Pentacles too. She's trying to hop and jump on your shit. That's her hopping on your shit first, man. Get out of here, man. Bye. You in upright today. You happy you in upright today and you're not in reverse? Because I know you be mad when spirit put you in reverse, earth sign, weirdo. Okay. They keep spying and asking tarot, you know, what's our ace of coins? All right, and they do spell work to try to end it. These catty bitches, they're going to get their ass whipped. I'm telling you, I saw somebody bloody as hell. All right, listen. What's his name? Six, nine, whatever. You see how he got jumped and beat up? Somebody going to get jumped. Okay, and it's from all that little shit talking. All right, all that little phony sly shit. Being all catty and shit. And they be scared, like, oh, God, please don't let that happen to me, God. Please, God, I'm chosen, God. Like, why you want something bad to happen to a chosen? I can clearly see how you're not chosen. All right, so I'm not even about to shit up here and feel sorry for you. I'm not even talking about you. I'm talking about us. Why you want to attack us? Let's get one more. Nani, get out of here. She is, Boom, tower. Yeah, I, I didn't even expect for this to come out. These comments is not expecting these big ass towers to hit. Okay, these damn sex workers ass fucking oracles. What the hell? Hell wrong with them? Look, y'all can get mad because I put true chosen. If you really chosen and you feel true in your heart, you chosen to go ahead. Watch it. 
this is not you know creating conspiracy or controversy or whatever because there are between the difference between true and false chosen Imani, i'm not answering that yet pizza no <clears throat> Full moon in Sagittarius is really going to open up a huge portal for like ambition because these comments are trying to unmotivate you. All right, the King of Wands is very ambitious. All right, that could be Sagittarius energy. I believe this is Sagittarius energy, right? I'm reading. All right, so yeah, I feel like this tower is happening because of this full moon. All right, in Sagittarius. It's like the ancestors coming for them. Shiva's coming to destroy someone. Someone's about to get destroyed. This Queen of Pentacles. All right. <clears throat> Who want everything to be about her? She want everything for her with her little stinky, smelly ass. She getting her ass whooped too. And she like, I can't see it. She trying to stop me from seeing it. She's getting her ass whooped. She 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 feel like she can't even speak. Right when I said that, Ada Wong, she feel she she can't talk. She's choked on her words. It's like she can't talk, <clears throat> okay? She can't speak or explain what's happening to her. All right, it's because she's trying to um, attack your divine union. You and your person could be at a distance. Y'all about to soon come together. And she's afraid for y'all to reunite, all right? Because she don't, she don't want y'all to have a child together. Like, she's like, come on now, you're not normal. And if you're stressing over somebody having a new baby or a baby, and, and you, you just a random person, I don't know you like that. You not, you know, we ain't got no real strings attached like that. You just like mad, like, come on, you weird. Move on. Are right, you confused? We don't know you like that. You confused. This is not a, <clears throat> a karmic ex. This is a weird female. That's karmic. A karmic female. That that the ancestors blocking that or who is blocking here is a lot of ancestors blocking this this karmic. All right, because she's trying to come for your divine counterpart. <clears throat> All right, listen. She coming for you too. This this broad. I cannot. It's like she trying. They all trying to block me from seeing this right now. But I can't unsee it. <clears throat> you attacking us with your little weird stuff. You keep trying to block us from seeing your spell work. I see your spells. It's all. It's listen. The energy's within you. All right. Listen. I can. I don't have to see the little altar. I can see you. Your spells are in you. They keep trying to block our third eye. They trying to block us from seeing the truth or slow us down from seeing the truth. And I feel like that is going to kill them. They're going to get ran over. I see, I see a car accident on the way. I see somebody passing away. And, and I feel like <clears throat> somebody's going to get... I mean, I'm like a hitman. Yeah, what? An assassination. What? I'm telling you, somebody's going to be dead in the morgue, too. Somebody paid to kill someone. Or this this could be their offering, paying the ancestors to kill us. You ain't got that much money, Karma, to be paying the ancestors to kill any fucking body. And you damn sure ain't God. Okay? Why would they do this? They 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 actually paid, made an offering. I'm seeing water. They put they gave they put a glass of water and offerings for their ancestors for you to die, for you to pass away, and and your children be like stagnant, hanged, dead. What? That backfired. Ooh, wait. Why would they do that? Why would they sacrifice you for your for your um? Why would they so fast sacrifice you like that? This was a female. She's trying to blame it on a man. Like, a man could have did this too, but it's a random female doing it. She's doing magic. And she's using the ancestors. She's calling the ancestors here. She called herself like a conjurer. All right? Like, she's not a conjurer, okay? Listen, this is real sad, okay? Temperance and the magician. She's attacking an earth angel. She knows you're an earth angel, but she's trying to say you're not divine. You're taking my divine masculine. You're doing spell work on my divine masculine. You're trying to call in my divine masculine. She's trying to say, I see you walking around with my prosperity. You're going to die. You know, having walking around with my prosperity, my ancestors, you know, they died for me to receive this. And, and I'm going to send the devil after you. I'm going to send Ishu, Papa Legba after you. All right, so I can get what I want. And I'm going to keep doing the same old thing up until... I die. That, that's the karmic words. Because they pretty much going to keep doing this until they die. Alright, y'all listen. The whole hour, I know. There's a pimple here. What, what you going to do? Alright, this person wanted you dead. They sent Ishu, Elegwa, Papa Legba to kill you. 
they did. They tried with Elegua, Papa Legba, and Ishu. All three counterparts of him. For me, I look at it as they're all him, but just different counterparts. All right. They tried to kill him. I mean, ooh, they tried to use him to kill you. All right. It's all for your gifts, your your beautiful ace of coin. They don't even know what this is. There's a lot of money in, 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 included, involved, included, involved, though. Okay. Yes. It's, it's, it's reward from your hard work. This is for your hard work and, and your hard efforts. They saw that and they got heartbroken. They was crying. And then they started yelling. Like, why the fuck I didn't get this? Why the fuck I didn't get this? All right. And that's when they're like, I'm going to do spells and walk you running away. Listen, the karmic man, I see you. And here you spying. You calling us ugly. Oh, you look ugly. You look ugly on camera. Okay? You look ugly. <laughs> Let me not do that. You're not ugly. You're beautiful. You need to, you need to know that you're beautiful. You need to stop looking at yourself in the mirror as like an ugly toad. So you can stop projecting that on other people. All right? Because there's a lot of people in this world that find themselves beautiful. All right? And and you we don't need you knocking those people off their 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 pedestal that they put themselves on. And they have a right to be on this pedestal because it's not egotistical or prideful. It's them acknowledging the fact that they're beautiful. You shouldn't be trying to tease people and make people feel like ugly or whatever like that. Okay? Because you don't like the fact that they embrace their all natural look or they don't dress how you dress, they're not a whore like you. So you're a bully and you don't know that you're a bully. You bully you're like a grown adult bullying another adult. And you think calling someone ugly is gonna make them feel bad about themselves, but that's just making you feel and look ugly. And then when you think about us beating your ass, you really wanna get mad and start calling us ugly. But we're just gonna come back and beat your ass even, even more because sticks and bones may hurt my bones. But words will never hurt me, but these hands will hurt you, okay? But I love y'all so much. Namaste.